Catalonia, real nomads. If you're a real nomad, Catalonia is definitely a good place. However, there are some goods and bads. And uh, let me start with the goods. Goods is that it's, it's if you know how to skip the heavy summer months, you can get really good deals and uh, stay in an amazing villa. Right now, you can see I got a, I'm staying in this villa, which is amazing place, two bedrooms and uh, Swim pool is there, the beach is just like less than a 10 minute walk down there, but the beach feels wind still come here. And uh, it's peace month in October. So I've done Crete in last summer, which I felt really busy when you do on the heavy summer period. They say normally from June, July, August, even a little bit of September, till like mid of September, it's busy, but uh, overall October, it's good, perfect weather. Sun is shining, but it's not hot. It's not like burning hot, like it's just, it's because the sun is far away and towards heading towards the winter, but ideal weather, it's really good weather. And, um, and the other things I could feel, you can get tremendous value in this time of the, the year. Not many are traveling, even the flights where the airport is pretty nearby and I could see like only like two, three flights I even take it off, so pretty less. Very quiet in the beaches as well, not many are. You can get some of the beaches that you can really be by yourself, enjoy yourself, swim naked or do anything, so um, it's, it's, a, it's a blessing. And the seafood wise, good. Can't say it's the cheapest so if you're eating at a restaurant. However, if you can go to a place like Little and buy the best of salmons, prawns and all those things, you can get really good deals where you can't get that in most part of the euro, especially in the UK. No way. The amount of juicy salmon you can have and the meats are also very, very uh, very good. I can see the quality because they're actually grooving from sheep to goats to lamb. All those, the cows, all you can see just like climbing by and eating outside all day long. So you get the quality, quality food here and that's a big blessing. Um, if you're looking to really put your body the best of quality food which helps you to your mind to operate really the better that's what I'm doing so I was in Estonia before purely eating well and just working and looking after right now in Catalonia more of actually beach swimming in the beach is such a good thing there's a lot of minerals and ma magnesium all those things um, are amazing amazing feeling you know it, it's what gives you the ultimate you the brain to work better to, to perform and take better decisions because however if you're starting by in the early days there is a time that you got to put it all and just go on in to get the, the ball rolling but when the ball rolling you can be strategic you know you can start organizing things you can really plan things put the right people on the side places and all those things and get the the bill rolling which keeps funding your life the mission and all those things and uh if you're a real nomad, if you're a digital services provider, this is definitely a good island. Be peaceful, you work as we and better and get better deals. Even I think uh, it's comparing to uh, islands like Crete or Santorini or Mykonos, way cheaper. It's like people are even more chilled, I can see. And uh, it's way cheaper. So if you're thinking to stay long term as a real nomad in, uh, in one of the Greek islands, Kefalonia is definitely a good place. So consider Catalonia, pay a visit, drop by and stay. And uh, but there are a few things I would say the 4G is not at the worst of single most of the places, but in the city center and all the capital is pretty fine. But uh, if you think you want a jail creator, you want to upload videos, you want to exchange heavy files and the things like that, that may not be the best. Even even in the villa, I can really use the internet to download it, but when it comes to uploading and the stuff, it's not the 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 best how to wait for even to a short instagram reel like it takes such a long time so it it also depends and uh, there might be some places you can see even but the even the the four star hotels i said really luxurious hotel i stayed internet wasn't as the best so you can do the, your stuff you can work do the skype calls a little bit of lagging zoom video call not they're going to be the best so uh screen shares as well and but if that's the case so it's going to be a little problematic you've got to definitely look after the internet connections and check what you need however don't uh, bother trying to upload if you're a real creator okay, do the stuff work yourself and go back to your place or the home where you have the best of internet if you want to upload so that's what i've done i'll upload a lot of done round of recording of the videos and uh, tell the stories like this one as well and uh, all this i um, took back to the 
UK and that's where I actually get it permitted by my team I click do and get uploaded so internet is the only thing that I could see slightly the 4G plus the internet connectivity is not like super fast uh, like in other PC islands or the bigger islands so that's something I felt however for peace to think to write to really plan to strategize things and um, and rejuvenate the body it's a good island you know it's a it's a very peaceful place Capulonia that's my thoughts about a Capulonia for real nomads and if you're a real entrepreneur if you're a person who can work remotely do your things from wherever based and uh, and have that location independent freedom because you decide your life with those skill sets you acquire digital skills to build a business or be a part of a business that lets you work location independently California is a good place come and see so far has been I mean I like Crete there are some of the beaches in Crete I would say I feel much better like Balos Beach and the places however California is a slight it's different and it has its own goodness a lot of mountains if you like driving really in the mountains and going up and circling all those things Catalonia can be one of the adventurous places that you can um, other thing make sure you need a car you need to rent a car that's definitely I, I, I saw bus bus stands are there but I never see the bus actually when going so uh, car is going to be a must unless you try yourself to get a taxi and get dropped at your villa and be closer to a beach then that in that case that would be fine but having a car or a motorcycle so many places are there you can rent even um, when it comes to renting renting cars you can uh, rent it at the airport you don't have to book it online i was gonna i was looking the prices are actually different you you, you there are like so many cars in the airport so However, it depends then again, like if it's the season, if it's the high season, if you try to come without a booking, maybe that might be a problem. But from mid-September onwards, it's it's pretty much like you go to the airport, you negotiate, you tell them they will try to drop free for, free for other drivers, like free or all-inclusive, all those things you can top them for that, and depending on the number of days you want to rent the car. So renting cars is a must. You can do it at the airport, and there are so many other places, even if you don't rent a car, the, Arrival, you came on a night, you go to your villa hotel, and then you can pretty much in nearby place uh, due to the capital. There are many places, so which you can rent a car. So, car is definitely something that you need to have if you want to explore the island and see more and uh, get your things done and live the laptop lifestyle, work from the island, and enjoy. So, California so far for my feedback is amazing island. Come and see. If you want to know more details or places or anything that you want to say specifically, drop your comments below and ask. You can see also the article that I published about Catalonia Island, how it's for deal entrepreneurs, nomads, remote workers, or question people, and my feedback about it and what are the things that I did and my upcoming journeys as well while building Seekers with the Seeker House team and um, helping and supporting other fellow digital nomads who want to use the time on this planet to really explore and see the beauty of the planet and get inspired and get some thoughts and maybe do something that want to change the world because uh, when traveling you get to such a harmony that's something that i feel when traveling i get to a harmony level in my brain i get thoughts i get thoughts for things that oh, i was like wow i wish that thought came like five years ago said ten years ago so this is the the time that my mind gets to real harmony that gets me to think like okay this little thing doing so could help this business maybe these people and what are the other greater things that i can do in this planet while alive all those things so with that being said how about to go and see a little bit of more of Catalonia and drive around and see more of Catalonia. this is the place that i'm saying as i said it's a uh, it's pretty cool villa and nobody see was staying in the next villa so uh and uh, it has been one quiet paradise for the for life so yeah that's going to be the entrance it's called the coroni villa where we go i have somebody's building something over there as well i'm fully here uh, this entire place is for for digital lifestyle laptop lifestyle work and do and and then go in the pool and uh, 
and get high on life honestly i am really really high on life did a lot of meditation after the morning swim in the sea and uh, get to that levels in the brain that the living feels like it's bumming all worth it, you know, it's bumming all worth it, living on this planet, knowing that the work that was put in years, non-stop, everything, it was worth it. And it gets fired to keep on doing more of stuff, to take life to the next level, to be in my team and everybody. So if this video kind of, if you're a real nomad, if this video kind of give you some ideas or anything about Kafalonia, make sure you join the Drop me your questions, tell me what you're doing. I'll see you again in the next video. Fernand Raymond, signing off.